Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Fives. Before we get into the video, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button. We're going to be making a ton of videos, especially on the NHL, and you're going to want to be the first one to see them. Also, if this video gets to a thousand likes, I'll know that you guys love the list and want me to make more of them. So, enough of that, let's get into the video. These are the top 5 greatest NHL mascot moments of all time. Number 5, Sharky vs. Bailey. For years, the Sharks and the Kings have had a California rivalry with the Kings being in Los Angeles and the Sharks being in San Jose. They've had many moments, but not many funnier than this one that happened in 2014. The skit consisted of a fake Sharky coming onto the ice with a sign that said, Beat LA, which would then prompt Bailey to run onto the ice and tackle him. The fans would love it. The problem? Bailey tackled Sharky so hard that his head popped off. For a full three seconds, Sharky's head was completely off and Bailey rushed to grab the head and put it back on. In the end, the mask was put back on and they finished the skit, but not before we saw the man under the mask. Number 4. Nordy's Birthday The NHL has recently been trying to encourage a less violent and more family-friendly atmosphere on the ice, which is why they were upset by our number 4 mascot moment. This past January, the Minnesota Wild mascot, Nordy, was celebrating his birthday during an intermission in a game versus the Montreal Canadiens. During this celebration, Nordy invited several other mascots from around the league to join him, including Chicago Blackhawks mascot, Tommy Hawk. The skit started with Tommy Hawk shoving a birthday cake in Nordy's face, and it ended with Nordy beating down the Hawks mascot until he was dragged off the ice. For those of you who don't know, the skit was obviously fake and nobody was actually hurt. However, some fans, and the NHL, were not happy with the wild announcer who encouraged the beating and told him to keep swinging. Swinging! Keep swinging! Keep swinging! At first, the NHL tweeted a picture of Nordy's birthday in a good light, but later contacted the wild who issued a statement saying, We apologize to anyone offended by the mascot skit Thursday night. It was certainly not our intention. Let me know in the comments if you think the Minnesota Wild went too far, or if you think it was just a funny joke. Number 3. Sharky Gets Stuck The San Jose Sharks mascot, Sharky, makes it onto the list for a second time after this stunt gone wrong March 12th of 1999. The plan was for Sharky to rappel down onto the ice just moments before the game was to begin. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. There was an equipment malfunction which led to Sharky being stuck about 50 feet above the ice. The announcers improv for about 15 minutes as staff tried to figure out what to do. Eventually, the staff laid down mats and threw Sharky a second rope to repel him back up. To his credit, Sharky stayed in character the entire time he was stuck, and fans gave him a very loud and sarcastic cheer as he was being saved. Also, Shout out to the guy who climbed over the edge without a harness over 100 feet above the ice to pull Sharky back up onto the rafter. He's got to be tired right now, and I think they would be better off to just let him rest there for a minute before they attempt to bring him over the rail. Get him, yeah, get him on the other side of the rail, then let him rest. Number 2. Wild Wing Gets Set on Fire There's not much footage of this next mascot moment, but there is some. In 1995, the Anaheim Ducks mascot, Wild Wing, tried to make a big entrance by jumping over a fire in the middle of the ice. As you already know, ice is not the best surface to jump on. Wild Wing ended up tripping and landing straight on the fire. The cheerleaders rushed to pull him out before staff eventually got there. Luckily, the mascot was not seriously injured despite jumping into a fire with a very flammable costume. Number 1. The Tongue Incident this mascot incident has gone down as one of the greatest moments in mascot history. On January 20th, 2003, the Calgary Flames had taken a 4-0 lead over the Edmonton Oilers. This prompted Harvey the Hound, the Flames mascot, to taunt the opposing players as well as coach Greg McTavish. McTavish then took matters into his own hands and ripped out the tongue of the mascot and threw it into the stands. The Oilers then started to come back but eventually lost the game 4-3. McTavish said after the game, Once we got the tongue out of his mouth, we started to turn things around a little bit. If we scored the last goal to tie it, I was looking for Harvey the Hound. The incident made headlines across the entire NHL, and not only led to Harvey the Hound getting a new tongue, 
but also led to many other mascots showing up to the 2003 All-Star Game with their tongues hanging out. That's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment if you thought I may have missed one, or what NHL video I should make next. Thanks guys, and I'll see you on our next video.